Hi, I'm Ella, and welcome to another Reflection episode. The height, the depth, and even the tower of the falls from its top to bottom can seldom be fully measured. The same goes with our effort to fully comprehend the love of God through our Savior Jesus Christ. Through a lot of walks, pauses, and even hill climb, we reached this place finally. I took a moment to appreciate the beauty and the magnificence and even the power of the water as it falls and pours onto the surface of its receiving end. I was taken back to a thought from a movie line which says that those of us who can soar to the highest heights can also plunge deep into the deepest depths. But no matter our uprise or our downfall as erring human beings, the love of our Savior Jesus Christ and our Heavenly Father would always be the same. Then a realization hit me. This force behind me sees the storms the sunshine, and even hears all of the thunders that its surrounding nature goes through day in and day out. And yet, it still flows on and on and on. The same love is poured to us by our Heavenly Father through His Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. No matter if we are going through the strongest winds, the hardest storms, and the most raging sunshine, this love so powerful and magnificent even promised all of us that when we get through deep waters, He will be with us. And it's amazing how when you feel like you're sinking or drowning with problems in life, the promise is we have a Savior who walks on water. Our God who can divide a sea to make way for His children will also make way for the problems that you are facing today in your life. Like this false, I do believe that eternally, whether you are perfect or not, whether you are sinful or not, the love of our Heavenly Father in Jesus Christ will always be ever flowing into your deepest soul. We are now in the last days and people are trying hard to find what love is. A lot of people are looking for that kind of love which can surpass all understanding. But this love, no matter how ever flowing and abundant, will never reach your heart unless you are empty yourself. Sinful or not, the only way to receive God's love is to empty the cup that He will fill. And then, by God's grace, when you receive this kind of love, please try not to withhold this kind of love to everyone you meet. Like the water from this falls flows into the river and other bodies of water on earth until it reaches a home, or like a pebble thrown into a still water, you can never know how far your influence of love, forgiveness, and a kind spirit would reach. So let's try to daily empty ourselves from selfishness, pride, unkindness, and an unforgiving spirit, and receive love from the ever-flowing source of it, and let this love emanate from the deepest parts of your souls to the hearts of others. God bless you, and thank you for watching this. Huh. God bless you, and thank you for watching this episode.